Welcome to The Real Martian. So you're looking at the results of five years worth of research, one year's worth of design, and a year's worth of building, and we still have another year to go. Uh, it's been a lot of hard work. My wife and I have been doing this on our own. Uh, we've had some neighbors and friends and family help us along the way. Thank you to all of you out there who have helped us. We, we love you guys and really appreciate everything you've done to help make this vision come true. What is this vision, you might be wondering? Well, you know, it's a funny story, but my wife and I, we're Christians, and every night we pray, we give thanks for the food and for the bounty that God has given us, and we pray for those that don't have food. And we've been doing that for multiple years, and all of a sudden, uh, if you've ever heard the term God smacked, whack, uh, it became apparent that we were praying for something without doing anything about it, and God said, that's what I sent you for. So we're here to help bring sustainable food and energy to our local community. That's our mission. That's what we believe in. Uh, this facility that's behind me, the solar panels, and a whole bunch of other things that you can't see uh, are a result of us trying to accomplish that mission. We have so far to go, uh, but we've worked hard to get to this point, and we believe this is what God wants us to be doing. So we're putting all of our time all of our effort and every single dollar that we have available to us into the system in order to make it a reality. Part of why we call this the real Martian, you might be wondering, I'm, I mean, I'm obviously on Earth. Uh, if I was on Mars without a face mask on, things would probably get pretty ugly. Uh, not that I don't look awesome as it is in my Carhartt uh, Martian suit, but uh, we, we call it the real Martian because this system uh, is being built in multiple phases. Uh, phase one was this year, 2016, when we got all this up behind us, initially operational, or IOC. Uh, phase two, what we're in right now, adds automation to this system. Phase three will complete the inside of the building, so it will be fully operational, FOC. Phase four, we actually want to build a whole other building right over here. We excavated for it already, but we want to take this first prototype that we've done and actually build an entire another version of it with all the improvements, all the engineering done, uh, documentation, drawings, CAD, uh, simulation, everything that's needed to truly understand how to operate this system. It is a self-sustaining system. We want to have minimal inputs. Uh, it's difficult to do that, so we're going to work on it, and you're going to see that story. Uh, but that's what we're trying to get to. It provides energy. It provides food. Those two things are extremely important in today's world. I stopped at phase four. Beyond that, we've got some pretty cool uh, dreams that we want to do. Uh, I'm not going to share them all right now, but the big one is what we call phase X. You might know another company that has X in its name. That's SpaceX. So Elon Musk, if you or anyone that knows you sees this, we would love to talk because while you're working on getting us there, we're working on keeping us alive once we get there. This system will replicate exactly what people are going to need on Mars. And where we live, is actually teaching us a whole lot of things about what you're gonna need to know when you get to Mars. Things like solar panels that constantly get covered in dust. In our case, it's snow, but it's gonna be a problem for you there too. How you deal with that, the tools that you need, what happens when things go wrong. Our story here at The Real Martian is gonna help not only teach us what we need to accomplish our mission here on Earth, but it will help teach all of you out there who are trying to go to Mars some valuable lessons. Uh, about what you're going to need to do to survive on the red planet. I'm a former uh, Air Force uh, aerospace engineer. I went to Embry-Riddle University. I love that place, my alma mater. Uh, they gave me the tools I needed to be able to design this. Uh, it's been fun to be an engineer again and actually sit down and really solve real problems. Problems that will truly help save this planet. It will help make your life better uh, and it'll help make all of us have a more th uh, thriving existence. Uh, and if everything works out right, I'll be able to realize my dream of becoming an astronaut and maybe I can take this thing to Mars. So we're going to have some fun with this channel. I hope you subscribe. I hope you tell your friends about it. We're going to treat it just like the movie The Martian. I'm The Martian. I don't look as good as Matt Damon, but hey, I got a beard and maybe I'll call myself a pirate. I don't know. It's a great movie. Uh, it's about real experiences and uh, the book is fantastic as well. I recommend you read it. We're going to document our experience here on Earth, but try to put a spin on it so you could actually see what it would be like to be on Mars 
and to experience these problems. I got to do it that way because I got to have fun. Uh, I work full time. I do this full time. We have a ranch that is an operating ranch. Uh, we sell cattle. Uh, you can check us out at theraymondranch.com. Uh, that's where we're actually doing uh, our, our vegetable sales and our beef sales through. Uh, we'd love to have your support there. Uh, but I don't have a lot of time, and if this isn't fun for me, I'm probably not going to do it. Uh, that said, we have a lot of things to share. Uh, we have a whole lot of stuff to share, and I'm excited to share them with you. And we're basically going to be open kimono and give you a lot of secrets. Uh, I would ask for support. Uh, don't just take our secrets and run. If you're going to take them, you're going to take our lessons learned, help people with them at a minimum. Uh, we need help. I need help to get more time more time to be able to really focus on solving this problem. You can see that we've put a lot of effort into it so far, and it's come at a big cost for my wife and I. Uh, it's been a, a very hard struggle to get here, uh, and she is awesome, she's supporting it, um, but it takes a lot of time and effort and sacrifice. Uh, there are so many other things that many other people would prefer to be doing other than uh, building a, a building out in the middle of nowhere. So come along with our journey, check it out. I hope you enjoy this channel. I look for your feedback. Uh, maybe we'll do some Google uh, spaces where we can actually get together and talk and have some constructive design. Maybe we can all go to Mars together. In the meantime, take care. This is The Real Martian.